Hello everyone, welcome to today's movie. In today's movie we're going to take a short small time series and we're going to fit a moving average to that time series and we're going to use SPSS. In a previous movie we used Microsoft Excel and as you can see there we created a three point uh, or three span moving average that was not centered. We can see that's our time period, that's our series. So the free span moving average that it's not centered. The first value is at time point three, and it's the average of C4 to C5 to give you that number. And then the forecast value. So if you want to forecast for time point four or model fit, then you just use the previous time point moving average. Okay, now we can see from the graph that the blue graph, blue, blue line, represents the original series and the red line represents the forecast values as you can see there. Now obviously we haven't put a title in, we haven't put the axes titles in, etc. Okay, but using SPSS is so much easier. So if we go to SPSS, there's my data set. Okay, time point one to time point ten, series 150 to 450. So what we want to do is we want to create a three point moving average. So all we do now is click on transform, click on create time series. Now if I just reset that just for one second, our series value needs to go into the variable box. Now we want a, f a free span moving average that is not centered. So we choose prior moving average in SPSS. And we choose a span of three because we want a three point moving average. Then we click on change. And then once we've done that, we click on OK. So in the output file, it'll tell you exactly what you've done. And in the actual um, data file, it gives you the actual forecast values, as you can see there. So if I just do a screenshot, OK, and then copy that screenshot to the Excel file, you can see what SPSS actually then gives you. Oops, apologies. So I'll do it again. There we are. Okay, so you can see now, look, can you see there? Okay, so the three point moving average uncentered forecast is at time point four, and it's 200, and that's what the prior moving average method in SPSS gives you. So if we now go back to SPSS, and obviously, if I go to the output file, or you can go to the data file. Now, if you want the, the graphs to be plotted as well, then that's quite straightforward uh, in SPSS. So all we do is we click on Analyze. We click on Forecasting. And then we click on Sequence Charts. Okay, now what we want to do now is we want to transfer series and that moving average into the variables box. Period is now the time axis label. And then all we do now is click OK. If I just maximize the output uh, page, there we are. And there's your um, SPSS solution, a prior moving average of span three. That's equivalent to what we did in Excel. So I just copy that across and go to Excel and just copy that in there. There we are. So you see you've got exactly the same solution in both Excel and in SPSS. Okay, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.